Hello and welcome back to another reselling video. So in this video, I'm going to tell you uh, what I've picked up since the last video, or what, what we've picked up because we've been on a couple of different trips. Yeah. Just as a, a monsoon hits the uh, <laughs> hits the magic studio, there, perfect timing. But yeah, so what have we picked up since the last video? What have we sold since the last video? What have I been since the last video? And what have I kept since the last video? So yeah, quite a quite a mixed bag, really. So. Yeah. We're going to get straight into, um, last week it was Tech Guy Matthew, uh, our son Matthew's birthday. So I had the day off and him and I went up to Sunderland and we spent the day in charity shops. Woo Party time, it was his 19th birthday and that's what he wanted to do. Go, um, so I'm going to show you, Lady M, what we picked up from the um, the charity shops of Sunderland. So that's about okay. Sunderland, without any traffic, is about uh, 40 minutes, something like that, from our house. And it was well, well worth the trip. So there's a bit of a theme in, in the pickups this in, in this video. They all seem to be kind of bear or plushy, fluffy. yeah, fluffy related. Yeah. I'm not really a teddy bear kind of guy. I, I didn't think, but I seem to be turning into one or, or a toy toy person anyway. Right. So the pickups uh, build a bit. Oh, before I forget, I did get myself some lovely jeans as well. Marks and Spencers, two quid. That's all I paid for them. They're, they're easily. I got I got a similar pair from the charity shop about four or five years ago and they were 40 quid then so they're probably about 50 or 60 quid now can't beat comfy maxi's maxi's jeans two quid but i won't show you them because they're in the wash because i've been wearing them for work anyhow right so this was this is a pickup build a bear so lady emmy you kindly washed him him or her for me yeah. he was a, he was he was a little bit it was a little bit grubby um a little bit grubby despair inside anyway sorry just yeah. don't know where that came from but yeah it's got a nice little that that identified what it where it was uh i'm sure he's got to build a bit well it's got he's got to build a bear build a bear tag on there so what i did with this fella i only paid a pound for him so it was in the everything was a pound in the in the plushy bucket in the in the in the teddy bucket looked him up using google lens google lens told me what he was caught he was a builder bear and his make and what have you um so that got me to ebay Hasn't sold as yet, put it up for, I think I put it up for 9 99 and then I changed my mind and put it up for 12 99 with free post. Hasn't sold as yet, but he is nice and, he is nice and soft. Cute. So I don't think he's rare, but he's not rare, but he's a, he's a builder bear. So the, he, he was a quid. Keeping up with the, uh, I'm just making spare, I'm not being an absolute hero there, or, you know, like an absolute gangster throwing the builder bear, like I just don't care. Um, there's a, hey, there's a bit of an S Club 7 no, themes in there. So anyway, you know, like look at that, look at that guy, he's rock hard, just, just, just chucks build a bear like, like it's nothing. Um, no, I just need to make some space so I can show me FM uh, videos of oh, and uh, discs up, and I've also got a uh, pick up there as well. So, oh no, a potential sale there. You will already know about that one. This anyway, Come on. right? Build a bear. So this was the, this is the second one I picked up. Now this guy is brand new with tags. Build a bear. You should be able to see. There you go. Look the old bab on the uh, on the bottom there. Still got his tags on. He was thirteen pound fifty. From the Builder Bear workshop, and I thought if, now this this guy was uh, was three quid. But I thought I don't know how rare he was exactly, because uh, look, it's called Sparkles or something like that. The sparkly uh, the sparkly unicorn. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it was particularly rare. I didn't look this up in the shop. It was one of them because I do like to take a bit of a punt. Most of the time I look things up when I'm in the charity shop uh, or even in the car boot sale. But I do like I like that bit of a gamble as well. But I thought he's in excellent condition. He's, he's brand, he's, he's as new, he's got his tags. Three, what was just, I don't know what I was doing there. I it was the back side, you were checking. So three pounds, a little bit on the expensive side, I think, you know, I don't really like spending too much money on there, on things. But uh, I put him, got him up for 19 99 with free post. Hasn't sold as yet, but uh, let, let's let's oh. see. There was only one sold, I think, only one sold list, and all the others were, were in America. But there was different variations, slightly different kind of breasticles here, and and a different shoes. Uh, it was, one even said he was a roller skating uh, unicorn, but I don't really show it. But anyway, so yeah, so he, he hasn't uh, he hasn't sold yet. But there is, but but there was change. That that that, that non-selling thing changes very shortly. So these two guys. So I've never ever heard our kids are a, a little bit old for CBDs. Um, so I, I didn't know what these were, but these were brand new with tags. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and they are Moon and Me. Uh, yeah, Moon, Moon and Me. Yeah, I think it's the name of the show. They're a CBeebies thing, so I don't know the, the newest version of the Teletubbies, I guess, or the Tweenies, or In the Night Garden, something like that. Mm -hmm. And again, I didn't look them up. I just thought for £1.50, they're absolutely in perfect condition with the tags on. These have definitely got to be worth it. Uh, and I've had a sale. So, Collie Wobble here. 
Um, I had him up for 29.99 with free post and then I bottled it after two or three days and thought, that's just too much money. And I reduced it to 17.99 with post. Uh, I got an offer of 14. I accepted one of 15. So there was, we are in, we're, we're in profit with uh, with Collie Wobble. Now I did look up, the reason why I went 29.99 is that there was, this had, there, was, there was two for sale from like a, a like, not a retailer, but someone who clearly sells them. Mm -hmm. And that um, they were sold out. And I thought, ooh, you know, but anyway, I bottled it. Maybe I should have just left it and, and see and see where we went. But anyway, I'm quite happy with that. And I'll give you a rundown of, of, of everything we sold in between and what, what, what money we've made after fees and things like that. But old Collie Wobble has gone. And I wouldn't care as well, there was another version of it. There was another one there, he was used. He didn't have his tags on. I think he was a pound. Or well, he might be 150, but because I'd never heard of them, I thought I didn't want to spend 150 on a used plush. It's like literally thrown money away. But I wish I'd kept him now because I think he would have probably gone for at least at least kind of a tenner. Anyway, so Collie Wobble's gone. Uh, this fella, um, what's he called? He's just Moon Baby. Whether he's the main man, I don't know. But uh, Moon Baby, because it's because they're called Moon uh, Moon and Me. I guess he's the Moon. Um, he hasn't sold as yet. He's up for. He was up for 14.99 with free post. And because that Collie Wobble sold, I then added the post back on. And I think I've gone best offer. So I've gone 14 99 best offer, but added post on there. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I tend to find, I think, that if you have free post, things sell a little bit better. But I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. I might tweak it as we go along, but he hasn't, he hasn't gone. And then the last pickup from uh, Sunderland. Now, I've already wrapped it in cling film. And, and I did this because the, the, the box is all ripped. So I will have to put some photographs in of, of the listing of this on eBay. So... In the last, um, she was the last episode at the car boot sale. I got the Harry Potter, the full audio book, uh, set, box set, uh, as read by, read out by Stephen Stephen Fry. That's up for twenty nine ninety nine. I've had offer of twenty five pound, but went back for twenty nine pound. They haven't accepted it as yet. But anyhow, so I got that for two quid in the car boot sale uh, last week or the or the week before last, and I picked this up in the charity shop for tw uh, for four pounds. So what this is, it's the same idea. It's the um, read by Stephen Fry again, mm -hmm. but the, the box is, is is a bit gashed. It's got a, it, it has got a little bit of a, a rip on there. Um, I say I'll insert some photographs of the condition. But this is just the goblet of fire, and but it's in a, the, the presentation is much nicer when you open up the when, when you kind of you, you can slide them out. You can open them up. You can take the discs off. Whereas this was this is just more paper sleeves and the sleeves rip as you take them out so so they go for a similar price surprisingly enough so mm. i've got this up for i think 24.99 or best offer but i paid four pound for that we'll we'll see how we'll, we'll see how it goes i don't know where the harry potter things are going at the minute the the the, the royal mints because our, our other channel where we we look for, for that rare and valuable coins we uh so we're aware of that um the Harry Potter coins are out at the minute. Yeah. The, 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 the third or the fourth coin. There's going to be four coins in the series. The third one just came out in the last week or so. So whether that's created a little bit of media attention, I don't know. And then surely Harry Potter is going to be, it's still mega popular, isn't yeah, it? So, it is. so that was it. That was the pickups from the Sunderland charity shops. Now today's pickups. So it was the it was the it was the squad today, wasn't it? It was the full mm -hmm. reselling squad. Myself, Lady M, Matthew, and uh, Matthew and Ellie. And I think we can thank Ellie for for the pickups that we made. We, we've only got these, and we didn't get any more than this, did we? No. No, there was no, there was nothing else. So I think we can thank Ellie. Uh, she was in there and, and beat me to it. So we've got a we've got a build a bear uh, bungle bundle. So we've got this one who's a. Uh, a rabbit is he? Yeah, yeah, a rabbit. Yeah, a rabbit. Uh, he's, the, he's definitely going to need a wash because there's some kind of unidentified stain there. You can see that on his on his mm -hmm. paw. So he's definitely going to going to need a wash. Um, I'll just I'll show you them all, and I'll tell you what we think he was about buying these because he was three quid. This uh, this guy, this uh, this this rabbit. There's this there's this bear. He's uh, again they're all three pound. He's he's another builder bear. There's his little. He got his little. He got something on his paw there. Yeah, it's all great on the paw. Is that where it is? Yeah, well, I don't know whether it goes in a different place depending yeah. on. The bunny's got. There's a the, 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 the build a bear bit. Yeah. So yes, he was three pound as well, and then we got it. Then we got a cheeky monkey, again for three pound. Mm -hmm. So I didn't look at him in the shop. I thought hopefully you can't go wrong with build a bears because if you watch some of the other uh, guys that do the reselling on YouTube, build a bear seems to be mm -hmm. a, a staple. You know, you're looking at a tenner no matter which one it is, kind of thing go relatively quickly you might yeah. stumble across a really rare one so these still might be rare i don't know yet i know this one is and i have looked up cheeky monkey and he can go he, he went for as little as like seven quid this guy yeah. 
But the reason why I went with it and went with it without looking it up is the pajamas that they're wearing. Awesome. So I think we can sell this. So so if the the the, the, the one I lobbed over there earlier, that tie dye different coloured bear, yeah. if he doesn't sell, I might do a, a bun. I'll, I'll put. I have to put them on for a few weeks and just yeah. bide me time yes. and see what happens. Well, I mean, no real rush to sell no. them, really. Um, so I think I'll leave it a few weeks or do them all separately and if they don't sell maybe do it as a, as a bundle with the four of them but without the clothes on mm -hmm. sell them as Rudy's um, because I think the money is going to be in the pajamas that they're wearing so that was what really enticed me to do it so so monkey for example he's wearing stitch pajamas so uh, cool. yeah uh, they, are, they are cool like aren't I can so see cool. I can see why they uh, they do this so I've only looked up stitch I think to look stitch or animal crossing up uh, not you. Oh, spoiler alert! Animal Crossing coming up. Um, so, so the these, if there was, if they were new, if the pajamas are new, you're looking at ten, eleven, twelve oh, yeah. quid just for the pajamas. So I'm thinking, oh, hang on, we might be able to make our tenner back just off one yeah. one set of pajamas. So anyway, so the stitch ones are cool. Um, this guy is wearing frozen pajamas. And frozen's always popular, and mm -hmm. they're about making a frozen three, aren't they? So they are. I don't think I'll keep it for as long as that, though. But anyway, a little two-piece pajama set, and this one, this is where Ellie really helped me because I wouldn't have had a clue. I just thought it would have had some animals on, but this is Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. So I think is it a Wii game or a Switch game or something it, it, like that? It's certainly some kind of computer game. Yeah. Kids play. So again, I think we've got ten or eleven quid's worth of maybe um, pajamas there. Again, that's new, so maybe you know maybe I'm being a little bit uh, over ambitious there. But uh, we'll stick we'll stick them in the wash, and uh, we'll see where we go. But yeah, them up. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to think we've got maybe ten or eleven quid. Yeah, in there maybe it's with, with the post as well. I'm not sure. And then I took a little bit of a punt with this uh, with this with this guy, and he uh, you might not be able to tell, but he is hacky. He is he is disgusting. He, he's white and soft and lovely. But he's got he's got some unidentified black bits on him. Um, Looks like he's been in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely gonna have to pick all them black bits off. Anyway, so I did look this guy up in the um, in the charity shop. There was only one sold in this country. The, the it was there was a plenty sold in America, mm -hmm. and it was ten ten pounds something I think. Can't remember that into included postage or, or not. Mm -hmm. But there was no none others sold. America the go like stink, and it's because it's a is it a teeny baby with the yes. ty. Mm -hmm. So what attracted me to it was obviously the fact it was a beanie baby or teeny beanie baby, whatever they're called. Uh, and on the tag, it's got two thousand and two. Right. So I thought, oh, it's an old one, yeah. and it's in really good condition for something that's twenty five, six. Uh, what are we now? Twenty twenty three, twenty one, twenty one years old, twenty one years old. So I think. Sure, it's that old though. It's not just the. That's no, no, it is. Yeah, well, well, yeah. No, Google Lens told me that it was a, a twenty twenty mm -hmm. uh, two thousand and two. Wow. Uh, teeny baby and it was only a pound so i thought right oh, i'm gonna yeah. that's gotta be what i mean he is i mean i have a feel of him i mean no, oh, you no i did touch him yeah I, he's lovely kinda... he's lovely and soft okay. so yes i'm hoping that he will do the i'm hoping that he will do the business still nothing on the die hard quid quidrology quid trilogy whatever it was he said that might be a, yeah might be a hard sell from previous videos right so that's what we, that's what we picked up um over the course of this week we won't be going to the car boot this week because instead we're going to spend the Sunday getting everything out of the loft because I've been selling a few things from from the loft and uh, made a few quid out of that so we're not going to go to the car boot uh, this week hopefully we'll still get to some charity shops though for next week's video if not it might just be what have we sold from the loft mm -hmm. what did we get from Bungle and Lady M's loft which might not be it as it's it was right so that's what we picked up let's talk about sales the most exciting sale i've just got this it, it's parceled up here to go here ready to go I, I did a little short video so you might have seen it on the little youtube short so these are the mcdonald's um transformers uh that came out of the happy meal so they can do which is uh, which, was the, which was the easiest one to open oh yeah this this guy so these were they're a, they're a happy meal items and the transform into went into dinosaurs so that little milkshake look turns into a dinosaur so this is part of the bundle that i picked up there were uh it worked out with 11 pence each for these it was 44 pence for this set sold it for 28 including post so that's 23 pound and 30 pence profit after fees Amazing. now i did have 70 percent off the listing fees um which did help but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. And it's the second lot. Of, I, I was saying to you earlier, wasn't I? Had a, mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've told you guys that we'd already sold one of these. And I can't remember. But yeah, sold a very similar version to this. Not, it didn't go into dinosaurs. They were just robots, I think. Um, and we saw, we'd sold that last week or the, 
or the week before. So there was I think I got about 20 quid for them, I think. So there was the 13 pounds worth of profit, I think it was in the other one. So done really, really well on their yeah. McDonald's toys. That's one thing that's making me want to go to the car boot sale tomorrow, but nothing else, just to see if that guy's still there because he had a box full. And he, in fact, he had three boxes full. That's why I got so many. And I think a 30 pound a throw, it's you know it's yeah. probably worth going all the way there just to see if he was there because he wasn't there he wasn't there last week so that was that was one sale uh other things i guess i'll have to put them up in the video if i remember i saw the downton abbey jigsaws so i got two jigsaws from a charity shop paid a total of seven pound anyway sold them for 20 including posts now i only made a five pound profit i basically messed right up with the uh with the postage postage one again i got i got antsy after two or three days of it not selling I really must just calm that down, just mm -hmm. research it, list it, price it fairly and, and rightly and, you know, for, 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 what it, for what it's worth and then just let it ride for four weeks, yes. I think it was the retro reseller I was watching last week and um, he was saying that he has different clothes. Uh, he must have different shops thing. I'm quite sussed that out yet, but he has clothes and then if he, he put it on for four weeks and then he'll move it onto a shop for four weeks and another shop for four weeks. So I think I maybe need to just hang tight, hook, you know, not bottle it and yeah. do it. But anyway, so, so, but I messed up on the postage. I did free postage thinking I'd be able to get them as a small parcel because I've done the measurements and just to say it would fit as a Royal Mail small parcel, just. Um, but then as it turned out, there were over two kilograms. So that automatically got me to a medium parcel. Um, and then I can't remember what the crack was, but ultimately I was expected to pay three pound postage. It would have been seven, I think, or almost seven pounds. That would have pretty much wiped all my profit off. So instead I sent it by eBay's, um, whatever they call Hermes now, is it EV or something, every, every. So I've used that for the first time. They haven't actually been delivered yet at the time, at the time of filming, so I'm hoping, because I do get nervous about that. But anyhow, the Downton Abbey double jigsaw pack went, uh, five pound profit there. Or oh, the Hulk Buster, that was the saddest, that was the saddest sale. Um, oh. I was hoping to, to, to keep that really. Um, but yeah, I put some batteries in it and, it, and got it to work and, and that sold with a little um, Panther, Black mm -hmm. Panther toy. So I sold that for 15 pound, including postage, I think it was. So I made eight pound out of that, but it wasn't bad considering they only yeah. cost me two pound in total, or less than two pound, about 90 pence each, I think it worked mm -hmm. out that, but I would have loved to have kept it on the geek shelf. I did get a photograph actually of him up there on the geek shelf just for old time's sake. Yeah. Well, in fact, he was on the geek shelf at hoping he didn't sell, um, but he did. Uh, and then, yeah, Coll Collie Wobble, which you already know about with a £13 profit. So that was that was, that was was the sales. And uh, top one. What? Oh, yes. Oh, thanks, Lady M. Yes, I did. I uh, can't read my own notes. So, yeah, the Nero, so so the, and again, and it's thanks to, to watching the, the, the other um, resellers on YouTube that you know you've picked up any of this kind of knowledge uh, to be honest um, but yeah it was a so it was a Nero burning software still sealed in the in, in the packet he wanted to got it for a pound sold it for 17 pound all in with the postage so that was 12 pound 20 just off a daft thing that I didn't even know what it was really you know I just knew it was software yeah. it was all dish and it was still and it was still sealed so I was really pleased to it really pleased with that and again Excellent. it's all pretty quick I kind of panic if it doesn't sell within like a day. I think, oh, it's not going to sell, or you know, I've wasted a pound. But anyhow, <laughs> so yes, that, so so so, that, so I'm really pleased. I'm honestly, I'm really, I'm really, really pleased. And I think our current, our current running total, because there's a couple of items that I did sell before we started filming them. Uh, there was a friend's DVD box set mm -hmm. and something else, which I can't remember what it was. So actually, our running total at the minute, so profit after fees and everything, is ninety three pound. Excellent. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's all right. Ninety three pound off about. Seven, eight, nine items, something like that. And okay, we're not going to be able to retire on it. No. And I think if you work out the actual, you know, we definitely haven't, you know, that's not included fuel to get to the charity shops and the car boot sales and the Sunderland and back and and this, that, and the other. But as a, as just as a bit of fun, as a bit of a hobby and and what have you, I think ninety three quid is, yeah. uh, is 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 pretty is pretty cool. And binned, um, so yeah, I've been the. You might have seen the if you've seen the last video I bought an Xbox game, uh, Vice City. It was, and again, that's because I'd heard somebody say, or one of the other resellers on YouTube say that, you know, certain versions of that go for all right, 
money. And again, I took a punt, fell out with the guys. Well, I thought he was going to lamp me because he wanted a pound and he only offered him 50 pence. Anyway, it didn't go for a lot of money on, on eBay. Three, two, three, four pounds in that kind of condition. But the I ended up lobbing it out because an ant crawled out of it. And then some kind of like fly some kind of like mayfly thing and then i looked and i thought actually this is just absolutely Great. gashed it was it was so i just binned that so that that, that was a bin um, and also they i've stuck that liverpool shirt up there uh, i used to support liverpool for a very small time when i when i was a youngster i'm a borough fan now uh or always i've been a borough fan really but for a short time i did support liverpool back in about 1990 i think um but anyhow so so that needs to go in the bin because i got that the car boot one pound fifty, but I think it's fake. Um, and even if it isn't fake, it's wrecked. There's a, there's a, there's a little little hole there um, in in the top. The the tags have been ripped out of it. It's it's quite faded. You know, not faded, but the the, the sponsor's gone a bit. And, and ultimately, I just it was a mistake. I need to learn from it. I was excited to try. And, I haggled it down to one pound fifty. Think, oh god, you know, because last time I'd seen it, we we were in Aberdeen and the football kits were thirty quid, weren't mm -hmm. they? I thought, oh, I've got this, but really I should have paid a bit more attention. So yeah, that needs to, and stunk as well. Pretty old. So that needs to, that, that needs to go in the bin, but I stuck it up there um, for, a, for a bit of good luck, I guess. And kept. So we're nearly there, lady, I'm, don't worry. So, we're nearly, so I learnt the lesson of the Hulk Buster. Um, and the, I had some little uh, Funko Pop, the, they're up there, look on the yes, YouTube, you can I've see them. them. The Funko Pop pins from Universal Studios. I had them up for £15 plus postage, I think. Anyway, I learnt the lesson of the Hulk Buster. I thought, no, I don't want to sell them. They're really cool. So they're now up there on the uh, on the geek shelf. And I also kept the little Funko Pop, the little small ones. And uh, was, was it Black? No, it was yeah, Black Widow, was no, it? No, it's Captain Marvel and the Hulk. I can see them. Yeah, and, and, and uh, War Machine. Oh, yeah. So I've kept them. So obviously, uh, I suppose that technically comes out of the uh, comes out of the profit. Yeah. Right. So I think uh, I think that's it, Lydia. We've okay. done everything. Oh, this week's pickups, what we've sold this week, how much money we've made, what I've binned, what I've kept, what more, what more is there to do? What more could we possibly do? What more could we offer you? Can you think of anything? No, I think we just need to say goodbye. Right, okay then. Right, so please subscribe if you haven't already. If you like the cut of our jib, please do leave some uh, some comments down below. Let us know what uh, let us know what you think. And uh, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.